I was an amateur. I didn't always hit it as far as I do today. And just like you, I was constantly trying to improve. I chose Titleist then for the same reasons I do now. The new Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Choose the best for your game. How does it feel? Does it, can you feel anything? Um, yeah, it's a little bit numb at the moment, I think. I just, I, I just didn't expect to be in this situation. I, even though I had a great round, I just didn't think I was going to be far enough up the leaderboard. But to finish my round and see where everyone was at, I was kind of surprised. But um, I just, I'm just relieved right now. That's about all I can say. <laughs> yeah. Can we have some questions, please? Martin. Cam, you seriously saying you, you never at any stage of your round thought I could win? Not even right at the end with the last putt? Yeah, I'm, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't look at the leaderboard all day. That was probably good for me to do. I, I just kept on going, just tried to keep playing my game and just keep pushing and pushing and just see how far up I could get, really. I, I didn't even see the leaderboard before I hit that putt in the last hole. So I, I made that and I thought, oh, I'll be up around the top. Like, but... Um, yeah, to, to come into the scorer's hut and see where I was at, I was I was kind of blown away. I, I had no idea I was going to be there. Yeah. Nicole, yeah. so um, after the first round when you were leading, you, yeah. you, you didn't allow yourself to think about possibly being here Sunday? Well, I, I just tried not to get too far ahead of myself. I think I did a little bit throughout the, the week. The second and third rounds didn't really go to plan. I think it's because I, I let... I, I just got a little bit ahead of myself. I was in such a good position after the first round. I... I you know, it was a bit of hard work to stop myself from thinking too far down the track. And today, I did the best job out of all the days and just, you know, staying calm, staying patient, not thinking about the situation too much and just staying really relaxed and going through all the motions. And, yeah, to, to do all that and figure it, find out that it was enough to get over the line is just it's crazy at the moment, yeah. Roger. Cam, professional for less than a year, you've obviously won the Australian Amateur and contended and won big amateur events. How does this compare? Can you compare? <laughs> they were both the highlights of my career so far. I'd say this is the best one, best one yet by far. It's just, you know, I think it's different in an amateur tournament with a match play format as opposed to a stroke play format. I had no idea where I stood in this one. I was just playing as hard as I could. Whereas in match play, it's, you got one on one, you, you know where you stand. So I think it's almost more pressure playing the match play than this. But the feeling after winning this is probably. I'd have to say it's a little bit better because it's just it's just such a big thing. So, yeah. Uh, can yeah. you tell us how much confidence you got from that eagle? And do you think you benefited from being a couple of groups ahead of the the last guys and, and you know the yeah. crowds and the galleries and things? Well, I think it helped in that it stopped me from getting too far ahead of myself. Like the fact that I couldn't see the guys who were right at the top was probably good for me. I mean. You know, Matt Guy and I were both just speeding off each other, just kind of patting ourselves in the back as we went around and um, you know, pushing each other. It was really good, but um, it definitely helped, I think, being that far in front. So the plan was, you know, the wind was meant to be up, just try and get off to a really good start and just give myself, give myself as high up the leaderboard as I can and um, see if the wind's going to stop everyone else from having good scores. And that's what ended up happening. So I couldn't have gone more to plan, really. Ben? Yeah. Mate, uh, in the, obviously you won the amateur and whatnot else, but in your other, some other starts you had some you know, issues at the, towards the end. Today you were absolutely phenomenal. Um, can talk about what sort of confidence this is going to take for you to, you're going to take away from this in terms of closing big events? Well, it's, um, it's given me a lot of confidence. Now that I know I can, I can go and play my best golf in a situation like this, it's a massive, massive boost for the future. I mean, it's always been one thing to, to have a good round of golf, but to have a good round of golf in the final round of a tournament where you're sort of in contention, I mean, that's, I, that's where I'd say I was at today. I wasn't right at the top, but I was far enough back where a good round could potentially put myself up there. But you know, for the future, just to know that I can play my best golf under the most pressure you can really feel is, is, so, is so good. So I'm going to take that going forward for sure, and hopefully it's going to help me over the line in the future. Bruce. Yeah. Cameron, uh, Cameron, uh, excuse me, uh, Andrew shooting on the bag. Can you tell us how that came about and how much did that mean to you this week? Um, I actually, I, I had him on the bag uh, last year in, uh, in Mexico when I got to start in the PGA Tour. I went through Golf Australia, uh, helped uh, line him up for me and, um, you know, we got along so well there. He's been on the LPGA Tour this year, but um, 
you know, I was lucky enough to be able to get him out here this week and I've got him again in a couple of weeks to final stage two of school. So this is going to be a good week to kind of get to know each other again, get him to, you know, see, see what my game's like now after a year of not seeing it. And, um, you know, so now, now we've kind of got a good feel for it all. We can, we can push forward to the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but um, yeah, he was awesome on the bag. He he did a really good job. He kept me in the present. He knew what to say. It was it was great. Yeah. Cameron, when you were a young boy growing up, dreaming of this moment, is this what you imagined? Tell us about your emotions. Oh, <laughs> it's definitely. Well, I've seen seen everything on TV. Seen guys win this tournament. You, you never think you're going to be there. You want to be there, but you've got no idea what the road's going to be like to get there. So. It's always been a dream to win a big tournament, but I had no idea how it was going to come about. And for this to be it, you know, I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm just so glad it's, it's worked out the way it has. Can you just tell us yeah. about those minutes when Jonas had that putt at the end? What were you doing? You're over the range. Did you yeah. watch it? Um, who were you there with? Um, I was just over there with my K and a couple of other guys. We're just, I was just, just trying to stay loose. I, when I heard that they still had putts uh, to tie it up, I'm just, I just got my driver out and started getting ready to go. And I, was, I was still hitting it well, so I was just trying to focus on my own game. And, you know, if they, if they said, right, you're going down playoff holes, I, would just, I was ready. So I was ready for that. I, I, I was not prepared to be told that I'd won. So, you know, I was just doing my own thing. And then someone came over and told me that it was all over. It was just, I didn't really know what to say. It was just a bit of shock, really. Yeah. Thanks. Cameron, um, George. Jordan Spieth won the British Open after winning this last year. What does it mean to earn a start in the British Open and to follow him well, up on your name? Yeah, it's my, him. yeah, sorry, it's my first major, so I've got no idea what to expect. I know it's going to be huge. Um, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that at all today. But, um, you know, if I can follow in Spieth's footsteps, I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's going to be pretty tough to do, but I'm, I'm sure I'm going to give him the best shot now that I've actually got the opportunity to go and play in it. You know, I'm not going to go out there and just... You know, just be happy I'm there. I'm going to really, I'm going to give my best and try and play my best golf and see where it puts me against the best players in the world. And that's, that's what I've always wanted to do. So I'm just going to try and grow it with both hands and um, make the most of it now. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. Uh, speaking yes. of that start and possibly others on the tour in the US, you've got final stage Q school, like you said, for the web tour. How much uh, will this help going forward into that? And even if that doesn't pan out, I assume you're probably going to get a few invitations to play over there uh, with us. Uh, uh, you know, you, you feel your game's ready. You had the T15 in your one start, so clearly you've got the game. Yeah, I, I always felt like if I play my very best golf, I'd be able to compete. Um, I feel like I'm, in, I'm playing well, obviously, at the moment, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good going into final stage, but it's a whole different, whole different week, a uh, whole different golf course. We've got to go back to work, um, start mapping the golf courses, get there early. Um, you know, you just treat it like another week and you've got to start from scratch again. So I'm going to try my best to come down from the excitement that I've obviously got after winning this. And then um, it's another another big week that we've got to get on top of. But, you know, regardless of how that goes, I'm, I'm really happy with, you know, it wasn't the best year up until this point. You know, playing in Canada, I didn't go that great. But to finish the way I have so far, I mean, regardless of how I go in the next couple of weeks, it's been a pretty successful year. Yeah. Cam, have you had a chance to glance yet at some of the other names on that trophy? Uh, and secondly, what are your memories of the Australian Open? What do you remember when you think about Australian Opens that you've watched in the past? Um, you know, I, I'm trying to bring back memories of watching it. I, I can't really remember too much about it. I knew I was always watching it. It was, you know, it was on free to wear. It's definitely a tournament that I was always keeping my eye on. Um, just remember playing my first couple of quite a few, well, a few years ago now after managing to get in in 2013 or something. And I always struggled. I was playing uh, Royal Sydney just kept on missing the cut by one. That was really the thing that I was trying to get off my back this week. I knew this course a lot better. I knew it suited my game very well. I was just trying to get over that cut line. Um, before the week started, that was the aim. I want to play the weekend in the Australian Open. It's the biggest tournament I've played, and I just want to get over the, over the cut, play all four days, and soak up the entire week. And you know, but when I get started and I started playing well, it turned into a different story. It was, you know, I've got a chance to win this if I keep playing my best golf. So. I haven't really had a look at the names yet, but I'm sure there are some very good ones on there. <laughs> uh, Cameron, yeah. just to clarify, how many top tens have you had since you turned professional? No, uh, <laughs> a qualifying tournament doesn't count, so yeah. probably none. Yeah. None, yeah. yeah. So you had that tied 15 in Mexico, and you, you missed... 
last year at the Australian Open, you missed by two, didn't you, to cut? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's been... Did you see this coming from anywhere? Well, I just... After the McKenzie Tour finished, and I went through everything with my coach, and we kind of figured out what went wrong, what I could improve. You know, I started, I started getting on top of things a lot better, and I started playing really good golf since then. Through first stage and second stage of tour school have been my only tournaments really between now and this. Obviously, I played the New South Wales Open last week. wasn't that great, but um, I'd started to play with some really good golf. So I knew I was, I was getting into pretty good shape, but um, I wasn't sure if it was good enough to win the Australian Open. I didn't realise it was going to be that good, but um, <laughs> you know, I'm glad it was. Yeah. Your coach is Karen Pullen? Is yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And did he say one thing in particular that you were working on? Um, no, we tried to just make it as simple as possible. I think uh, before the week started, last, last week in New South Wales Open, I think I was just cruising a little bit after doing so well at second stage um, over in America for web.com that I didn't go through my preparation quite as well. I was thinking a little bit too much about the swing. I just tried to make it as simple as I could. And you know, he had obviously had a, had a lot to do with that as well. Just, you know, just go back to basics and um, start again, really. And that's all I did throughout the week was just keep it as simple as I could, stay comfortable, stay relaxed, and, um, and just concentrate when you need to. That was really all it was. And, you know, it was enough to, it was enough to play my best golf, thankfully. And um, in the, the heat of the uh, heat of the competition coming down the stretch on Sunday, it was I was glad it was enough to get me out of the line. Nicole, yeah. um, obviously, um, when you're a rookie pro, um, there's not a lot of money generally to spare. There's now going to be 200 grand plus in the bank account. <laughs> how how much does that help to sort of set you up for the future and take pressure off? And yeah, I, it's there's a whole lot of stuff coming that I'm not really aware of yet, but um, <laughs> I just. Uh, that's going to be good. I'm going to I'm going to appreciate that. Um, it's going to make life a lot easier, definitely. I'm, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm a bit speechless about all that kind of stuff. I just I wasn't thinking about that at all all the way through the day, all the way through the week. I was trying to take my mind off that. So, and I'm sure later on today I'm going to start looking around and seeing what this this might get me. But um, yeah, at the moment I'm just kind of a little bit numb to it all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, none of us are speechless. It's a terrific win, and we look forward to seeing you many, many more times this year and back at this tournament and many more Opens under your belt. Congratulations from everybody. Thank you. Thanks, guys.